Oh, hey. Des bises. Go away. Oh my god, there's bees now. Stéphane Mangin. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm saying it wrong again. I'm here today with Stéphane Mangin. Mangin. And um, having Stéphane's uh, experience working in France at studios like McGuff, uh, London with Double Negative, and Disney um, in the US. And now he's over here in Japan working with Marza. So it's great to ask some questions about the differences working in Europe and the States compared to working in Japan. And um, you've worked on Despicable Me. Yep and Frozen, Wreck-It Ralph, some big films, and you're on a feature film here as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a small feature film named uh, Robot Dog. I think the title is kind of official now, after, after Disney that was in Los Angeles, and uh, I didn't really appreciate Los Angeles, for it is like a huge city when you have to drive everywhere and all, mm -hmm. so I wanted, and I always dream about going to Japan. So. Yeah, so where did the dream come from? What was it that, that made you want to come here in the first place? I come from a city named Annecy, and there's like a huge animation festival in Annecy. Uh, and uh, and uh, I remember like I was like 12 years old or something like that. And the first movie that struck me when I was young was uh, La Puta uh, mm. from Miyazaki, The Castle in the Sky. And when I watched this movie, it was like a huge screen. That was the first time that they showed it like uh, outside of, uh, of Japan. And uh, so it was in Japanese, subtitled in English, so I couldn't understand anything. But still, I was just amazed. So, like, when you first wanted to come over yeah. here, how was it finding work? Did you did you have any difficulties? Was it different to how you would approach finding work in in the states or, or Europe? Let's say that was probably easier from the US because the US you have to uh, to struggle with the visa process and all this thing. Mm -hmm. So you can't really find a job in the US because they know that they're gonna have to go against this visa process. While here, the visa is much easier to get. Literally, Disney had to work with like two lawyers on my case for six months. Oh, two to lawyers for six months <laughs> yeah. just to get you over to Disney. Ah, oh, we're being interrupted by an announcement. Oh yeah. Oh, well, it proved that we're in Japan anyway. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just I'll just do a little fade and be like ten yeah. minutes later. Exactly. <laughs> Finally good. There you go. Sorry for that. Where were we? Where were we? Uh, we were talking about visas. Yeah, and, we were talking um, about visas. And it, you got it. Basically, it all came through much yeah. easier than the states. That's the. Oh uh, yeah, thing exactly. That was uh, that was so much easier. And uh, and then when you just arrive in Los Angeles, and you see how Los Angeles is kind of dead and empty, <laughs> uh, you're like, well, I just struggled for like six months just for that. Ah. Wow, it's Bummer. quite a picture that you paint, really, because I have. I know, been in, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's really surprising. It's, let's say if you like the thing that I was coming from London, and I, I do love live in cities, and London is exciting. It's an amazing city. You can just uh, improvise every day easily, and uh, the same as here, the same as uh, in Tokyo. I really love Tokyo for that because for me, Tokyo is uh, London in a cleaner way, <laughs> a let's cleaner say. Yeah. <laughs> cleaner. So you're finding it just much simpler here, like easier it to is, It is, it is. It's as easy as London, except for the language. Exactly, now that's what yeah. I'm wondering. Like everybody, everybody who goes onto my blog always says, how do you get on with the language barrier? So how, how have you found it without being able to speak Japanese? Because you, yeah. have you been learning? How's, yeah. how's it going? I didn't really learn. The thing that when I came here, I, I expected people to speak English, actually. Mm. And it's not, it's uh, what, what a mistake. <laughs> that was a big mistake. Yeah. So, but did you find it a trouble with getting a job then with your work? Has it, has it ever caused an issue or, or how was it even applying? Was it a no. question that they posed? Were they saying, you know, can you that wasn't, that wasn't really a, That wasn't really a, tr a problem because there's like big studios where they have like translators so they don't they don't mind having a uh, gaijins coming mm -hmm. uh, while there are some of the studios I heard that they don't have any translators so when you go there you have to speak like let's say I think it's, it's uh, Square Enix Square Enix uh, is a great studio I really I would love to work over there but they don't have any translator to uh, to, to work with you, so you have to speak uh, Japanese. But Mars has been pretty open. Like, Mars is uh, from Los Angeles first, oh. and so uh, so all the, the the head of the studios are coming from the US mostly, or like uh, our English speakers. So it's, it's much easier, much easier. Overall, what would you say are the biggest differences between your experience in the Western companies, yeah. Europe and America, compared to working in Japan? What's the biggest change? I would say the biggest change will be the language barrier. That was a that was a really really hard. The language barrier is really hard because even if you work in this in this kind of medium, this medium is mostly 
English, like every software is English, and like whatever you're gonna find gonna be in English. The fact that since they don't really speak English, you see that they're not as open as some other countries, means that the level, in my opinion, just my, uh, my personal opinion, the level of CG is probably lower than all the English speakers' country. The reason why is because you've got all those forums when they all speak English. You've got all those newspapers and things like that just all speak English. So everything now is uh, first in English and then they have to translate it in uh, Japanese. And the thing that Japanese, since they don't really speak uh, English, they're kind of like turning uh, in, in their own circle, basically. So what what would you say like are some good points though like that you've 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 definitely picked up as being almost like a Japan only sort of thing. That yeah. since you've I like pff, Japanese people are amazing people. That's the thing too. Is like even if it's hard to speak with them, they're always gonna be kind of open minded and uh, gonna try to help you out. Even if they don't understand you, they're always gonna be here for you to help you, to support you, to assist you on anything. And that's something that I never felt anywhere else in the world. And uh, even when you go out. After work, you get some drinks with uh, with your colleagues, or even like with some unknown people, some people on the streets. They're always gonna be nice. Yeah. I never met any anybody uh, who, s who spoke badly to me, who were kind of a jerk with me. Never met anybody here, and it's been nine months now. So. The, it's great that the people are so so friendly. But is there, is there anything that's kind of stood out as a negative point? Well, like in Japan, uh, everything has to be done before starting the new one. So they can't really stack uh, like different uh, layers of work uh, while we do. Uh, we, I used to do that. Like, Despicable Me was such a mess. It was a huge mess to, to do, but at the end, uh, that was a great movie. It came so out as a fantastic movie. Exactly. So Same. Wreck It Ralph and Frozen was quite a huge mess too. We had to redo a lot of shots. We have to. They redone the, the scenario. And so over here, what's, what's prohibiting then? That? Is that it's a pipeline problem? The pipeline is. Is kind of is not mean to be like the or let's say it's not really the pipeline. It's more like the Japanese way of thinking is more like a feudal way. It's like really, feudal. yeah, feudal like more like uh, I always compare it like them to like like yeah like samurais. Like they have to have this. They're stubborn people. They are stubborn people. So they have to finish something to have finish a task before starting a new one. Mm -hmm. They can't start a new one in the same time that they're finishing uh, the other one and then go back to the prior task. They can do that. So if we're discussing things that you've had found a challenge, is there anything that Japan gets right that you, you just wish you could take home with you or your, is it a positive experience? Uh, that's a good question. I would say the patience. Patience. <laughs> yeah. I learned a bit more of patience. I was a... Uh, as a French guy with kind of hot blood uh, mm -hmm. people, so we uh, always go to like arguing quite fast. Here, it's like, let's say it's like a shark, you know, it's like turning around and around <laughs> and around his, uh, his victim until you just like go and bite a little bit and then turn <laughs> around and around. And uh, that's actually what's happening. It's like you have to, to, to be the most diplomatic ever to, ac to make them accept your ideas. And you think that's actually something that is quite positive then? Like you, you wish that going back to France things would be a little bit more patient and things I would, would be uh, yeah, diplomatic. more diplomatic. Yeah, oh. more, yeah, yeah, because you don't want to jump uh, to the throat of somebody uh, right away. You, you, it's nice to just to not show that, that, you, that you're angry and things like that right yeah. away. You, you can just like talk about it and just try to find a solution. And that's what Japanese people, I think for me, uh, are really good at. It's like they they're gonna always be uh, as, as zen as they, are, as they are at work all the time and always the most professional they can. And that's something that I uh, really like, in my opinion, uh, in Europe sometime. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. So just to wrap up then, really, has it all been a positive experience, just day-to-day -day yeah. life in Japan, outside of work? Is, uh, yeah, happy. Outside of is work is good? amazing. Yeah. yeah, It's amazing. It's just, uh, it's such a great country. There's so much stuff to see. It's like, Tokyo is an amazing city. We right now we're like in Shinjuku, uh, like Shinjuku is just behind, and we are like in a park, like in the middle of the forest, and uh, and that's just like next to like uh, the busiest uh, place in town. So uh, so it's just crazy to be in such place. Fantastic. Uh, it's a f it's a fantastic country to to live in. As long as you speak the language. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's something we'll, go, we'll take, we'll both do going forward. More, exactly. More study. Yeah, 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 yeah. More study, that's for sure. Lovely. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. And um, if you have any questions, then write them up on the blog and I might be able to pass them on if you'll be so willing. And uh, cheers again. Thank Bye. You. Bye.